Well, you probably did not know this, but one of the candidates for president in 2012 lives right here in Seattle. And we're very to have very happy to have Dick McCormick join us live now on the Como Newsline. Dick, how are you today? Hello, Jane and Tom. I'm good, thank you. Well, first of all, we've got to ask you this. Are you serious? Are you really running for president? That's usually the first question I get, and the answer is yes. I uh, registered with the Federal Election Commission back in November of last year. Tell us about your background and why you believe it makes you qualified to be president. Okay, my background, I'm an investment advisor. I've been in the business for a little over 40 years. Uh, What makes me qualified, Tom? uh, Let's start with the Constitution that says you have to be 35. I'm uh, well qualified from that standpoint. Uh, U.S. citizen, been living in the U.S. for 14 years or longer. So as far as the Constitution, I'm well qualified. If your question is more directed along the lines of my professional uh, politician, the answer is absolutely not. Uh, is that I think that the professional politicians is probably part of the problem that you're seeing uh, act play out today, as a matter of fact. Well, i got to ask you about what's going on today. These deficit talks have broken down. You're in the financial industry, a bit of an economist yourself. What are we in for? Do you think the people in Congress up on Capitol Hill don't understand what's at stake here? No, they understand. It's part of the political theater, and it really kind of underscores or is emblematic of my entire position is that I believe that the next president should be an independent president, uh, independent party. Uh, the polarization that currently takes place is, by definition, Jane, the, the Democrats can't allow the Republicans a political win. Otherwise, they would run on it. And the reverse is also true. The Republicans can't allow Obama and the Democrats a, a political win, other they would run on it. So then we have these big dramatic moments, these standoffs, and nothing gets done. An independent president could uh, provide political cover. They could act as a mediator. They could uh, find common grounds between the two warring parties. Uh, you know, currently with our, our president, and any president for that matter, uh, it just polarizes the political process, and then the whole thing breaks down. Dick, you may have heard rumors it can be rather costly running for president. How about how about donations coming in? Uh, has that ball started rolling for you yet? I uh, it has. I'm terribly I'm, I'm excited. I'm uh, saving the money right now and funding most of it out of my back pocket. Uh, so I, I see b- uh, bigger expenses down the road. But I, you know that again is, is part of the drama. Uh, Obama has indicated he's going to raise a billion dollars. I do think that the Internet is part of this process, okay? And uh, Obama had very good uh, luck with the Internet in raising money uh, the last election, and I think that will be uh, an important source of funds to this go-around. And I also believe that it kind of helps level the playing field. It's not going to make it even. uh, If there's one thing that the Republicans and Democrats agree on, it's how to keep third-party candidates off the ballot. Uh, But having said that, the Internet and the whole social media revolution uh, is changing the playing, uh, the, you know, the, the rules of the game. In fact, there's a there's a, a fellow here in town, a fellow by the name of uh, Brian Lee, who has established a, a website called Votocracy.com, uh, and he's even going to put together it looks like a reality TV show uh, along the lines of American Idol and and try to get third party and, and independent candidates out there in some visibility. So there's those kind of things taking place out there. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? Well, <laughs> uh, excitement and fear is a fine line. <laughs> there you go. Now, I've got to ask you two more things before we let you go. We're just about out of time. Sure. First of all, I want you to tell us how people can uh, reach you if you have a website set up. And the last thing is, is your wife on board with this? Uh, let's start with the wife first. Uh, originally, no. <laughs> she was ignoring me. Uh, and then slowly she has come around, and I, I could say at this point, yes. Uh, so I think she's uh, well on board at this particular point. Uh, with respect to getting a hold of us and finding out more about my campaign, I do have a website. It's uh, McCormick, just like the Spice Company, McCormick2012.org. Well, we appreciate your time this afternoon, sir, and it was nice talking to you, and good luck. Well, thanks for the time. You betcha. Dick McCormick, presidential candidate.